Welcome back to VLAS video tutorial. My name is Jakob. My name is Chris. And in this video we will dig into some of the more advanced, function, advanced functions of using Elaine. We will look into the uh, way you can code your transcript or your video uh, by using control vocabulary and uh, thereby adding it to a new uh, tier in order to structure your way of coding your material. And to do this, we need to set up a control vocabulary by pressing edit and edit controlled vocabularies. And as you can see here, you can add a control vocabulary name, embodied action, as we already set in. Then you click add, which gives you access to the entry value, which are the specific codes that you want to use. For instance, we could add another one called gesture. Yes. And then press add. And now you can see we have three different val uh, values which we can use to code with, head, hand, and gesture. After that, you say close. And now we need to link this to a new linguistic type as per our, one of our earlier videos where we were talking about types. So we press type and add a new linguistic type. You add the type name. In this case, it's embodied actions we're looking at. But last time we just set these two values as none, but now we need to use our control vocabulary we just set up with choosing embodied actions under the use control vocabulary. And we press add and close. Now we need to link both the control vocabulary and the type to a new tier. So we go to tier, add new tier. We enter the tier name. And in this case, we're looking at embodied actions of McCain in the video. So we add McCain embodied actions. And, and remember to type in uh, participant as well as annotator. Yes. And instead of uh, using the linguistic type as is, as is per default, we will now change it to embodied actions, so we can only make use of that control vocabulary. Yes. And we press add, which adds the new tier down here. And now we can start uh, coding using our control vocabulary. So just, just, just before we do that, I think it, uh, it would be nice to, to make the new tire uh, use the same attributes as we gave uh, uh, the earlier McCain. So if you apply attributes to uh, from the tire, you can select to participants and now McCain will also turn into the blue tire. As we defined in one of our Tier. earlier videos, yes. So to start annotating and coding with our control vocabulary, you double click on the new tier over here, which sets the focus on McCain's embodied actions and then you can start by, as we did before, selecting a specific instance where he did something with his head, for example, or his hands. You double click here, and as you can see now, you don't have a free text box, but you have these three defined values that you entered in the control vocabulary. So in this case, it was the head. If we go somewhere else, this might be where he uses his hands. And here is a specific gesture. Yeah. So hopefully this will give you a basic idea of what you can do with uh, controlled vocabularies uh, in Elan, which you can use for coding your material uh, in a pretty basic but also very advanced way. Yes. It the main reason for using vocabulary, uh, control vocabularies is if you have a predefined idea of what you want to look at. Um, for example, transcribing text in a lane would not be recommended to do as a control vocabulary, uh, but in a free text box. But if you know for sure that you want to look at hand gestures or facial movement and so on, you can define this as a control vocabulary. Um, without having to define each uh, annotation and each transcript for each individual segment that you, you're using or you're coding. Yes. Yeah. That's it for now. See you soon. Yeah. See you. Bye. Bye.